I'm actually really worried about this one. It's not moving that much. Previously on Joey's Pet Rescue. It all started when I rescued a pregnant stray cat with an attitude problem and helped give birth to seven kittens. I ended up keeping her and now Sakura is queen of the household. Next, I trapped and rescued a pregnant cat off the streets of LA, but sadly she ended up having a miscarriage and none of her kittens made it. But after I found her a home, I saved another mama cat with her five kittens from the pound. Oh yeah, then I rescued a pregnant dog and her six puppies from a junkyard, another one from a kill shelter, an abandoned husky that was infested with ticks and ended up giving birth to 11 puppies, another husky who wasn't pregnant at all and just was that, and a litter of puppies that was left in a cardboard box. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm a licensed OBGYN now. And that's what you missed on Lady. Welcome back to season four of Joey Rescues a Pregnant Animal. I'm here with Oscar. Back again. <laughs> here we go, different day, same Shit. I came across a post that there is a pregnant cat in need. Basically, this family has a son who is allergic to cats and can no longer have her. So that's where I come in. Joey, the pet rescue. We are here in Anaheim to pick up this woman. Her name is Lacey. She is a tuxedo cow looking cat. Yeah. What do you think she's gonna be like? Girl next door kind of vibe. Oh. Yeah. I think she'll be kind of like the opposite of Sakura. Like, so you know, Sakura is very sassy, very standoffish. I feel like Lacey's gonna be the- Oh my God, be I would sweet. love that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go run in and grab her and we'll be back with an update. Oh Lord. Oh gosh. Oh good. Lord. So we already had an incident where she escaped. She was running around. She like got under the car and stuff. But now we got her in the cage. Oh Lacey. She does not like it at all. Oh, oh, you're so sweet. Okay, let's get you in the car. Oh. Okay. Whew. Here, we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hello. We made it back home. Hi, sweet girl. Let's bring her inside. She was crying the whole way here. It was so sad. So the dogs are outside right now. We're gonna keep her in her cage until I can get the room all set up. I need to take the beds out of the room. Oh Let's actually just go right upstairs. I'll show you right now. Okay, so this room has changed a lot since you guys have last seen it. Welcome to the cat. Oh, wow. Daniel Prada decorated this and designed it. It was meant to just be a guest room, but we're gonna have to convert it back to a cat room. <laughs> Let's get to work. Oh my God. Okay, we, we did some remodeling in here. It was like a make under. It was. It was like, Daniel, I'm so sorry. I decided to keep one bed and just cover it up with a blanket. I know she's going to want to hide somewhere, so I kept this in here for now. When she's giving signs that she's going to give birth, I am going to take it away because I don't want her giving birth under the bed. But she also has this. A hand-me-down from <laughs> Wow, luxury. I have a bed over here for her. But she can come up here and just like look up the window to the backyard. Say hi, boys. Time for the big reveal. Come on out. Come on. Oh, pardon me. Where am I? Oh, look at the belly. Big belly. Wait, don't go yet. We barely even got to see you, girl. <laughs> you have a big belly. Yeah, she is big. She's like, where's the desk with the drawers <laughs> that I can squeeze myself into? I see her paw. Yeah, she's in here. <gasps> oh, oh, hi, girly. <laughs> you scared us. I heard about the tales of Sakura getting trapped inside the drawers. I know, it's really underselling. The litter box is on its last leg. <laughs> she has this one sad bed. Okay, it's more than what Azula had, okay? That's, that's true. Literally, Azula was in quarantine because she smelled like piss. She had ticks, she had fleas. I guess I don't know what she has. She looks a little thinner. <laughs> I should probably wipe her down. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we found out that the dad is an orange cat. Yeah. Which is so exciting because I've always wanted an orange cat. And fingers crossed, she gives birth to some gingers. <laughs> oh, how sweet. Hi. Oh, but she likes it. Look at her. She's already making her home. <laughs> That's a good sign that she's purring. I love that she smelled her fingers and backed away. Uh. Rude. Where have those fingers been? Well, are you starting your own little <laughs> purr? I actually heard 
that when cats purr, it's a frequency of healing. Cats can like heal themselves through the vibration of their purring. Isn't that crazy? What are your sources on that? I need to know. I think it was TikTok. Oh my so god. So it's accurate, oh right? God. I think it's true. Oh my For god. For real. It's like a frequency. So whenever Sakura is like laying on me, I'm like, yes, heal me. It's just not doing a good job then. Uh -huh. <laughs> you really have to earn cats' respect. It's very different from dogs. She likes that. We ruined the rat. <laughs> She's so friendly. She's very sweet. She warmed up much faster than Sakura. I know. This took her like 10 minutes. Yeah. She like, oh, oh, that's comfy hair. Her sexy legs. <laughs> She's already showing us her sexy legs. Don't right. socialize a pregnant woman. How many times <laughs> did I tell you? How many do you guess that she has? I think five. Yeah, I, I feel six. Five or six. How many does Sakura have? Six, right? Yeah, I think it was six. Six. Because it was half the zodiac. Yeah. Oh lord, what's this thing gonna be? Well, well, well. Look at the queen on her throne. Can you tell that there's another woman in the house? Well, what do you think of her? You can smell her? You're gonna give her a piece of your mind? Yeah, you need to tell her who's in charge here. Are you all talk? Oh. Oh, you're afraid. I knew you were afraid of her. I could tell. Okay, so it's the next day and I discovered that she 100% has fleas. I saw one crawling on her nose, so I'm currently at the pet store to get her some flea medication. I don't want to give her a flea bath because my last experience of giving a cat a bath, well, <gasps> roll the clip. No. <laughs> let go of the clothes. So let's not um traumatize another cat, shall we? Okay, so I just got back. <laughs> what happened here? It looks like someone peed on the floor, but no. Monty just loves to dip her toes in the pool. <laughs> this is what it's like having a golden retriever. They love the water. She's sweet. Okay, so I ended up getting Frontline Plus. Hi. I got her this Frontline Plus because this is okay for pregnant and even lactating cats. I got a flea comb. I got some hypoallergenic deodorizing wipes just to really clean her up. Are we gonna get rid of these fleas? Okay, first we have to take your collar off. There you go, she's free. And we're going to use this water bowl for now to have a place for your fleas. When I scrape them off, oh, yep, get your butt all in there. So I'm gonna just first wipe her down. We need you nice and clean for your babies. That's done. Now let's get the drops on her. I need a part. Oh, there's one. Okay, I'm just scraping more off of her now. And the fleas are pretty much like already dying. Look at her, she's already looking so much shinier and so much more healthy. Oh, you love to rip at the rug, don't you? She's all cleaned up. She's doing so much better. She's like fully acclimated to the room. Although it's getting kind of scary because she's definitely wanting to get out of the room. So every time I go to the door, she's like running after me. Right? You just want to be an outdoor girl. You're like, I need to find my boyfriend. Where'd he go? Look at this massive belly, you guys. It's really tough with cats to tell when they're getting ready to pop. With dogs, like I know the signs, but with cats, I'm just like, um. So I come in here and hang out with her but obviously I can't just stay in here 24 seven. So she knows every time that I'm leaving and she like meows at me and she like chases my feet. I'm sorry, I have to go. And she's like, no, don't leave. Look it, I, I can rub myself on you. I know baby girl, but I can't live in here all the time. Oh my God. <laughs> Her hips don't lie, Shakira. I'll see you later. Way. Guys, she's so close to popping. Okay, you guys, I think it's finally happening. I've had this like little cocoon in here for like the past week and she's never gone in here. But look who's in here right now. Hi, are you going into labor, sweet girl? I think you are. So I'm actually gonna bring a box up here so she has more space to give birth and not just this little thing. This is way smaller than I expected. Actually, she's walking around. 
I feel like it's maybe just very early stages of her nesting. Okay, I've summoned Oscar to help me out because not only are we making her a nice new home, but Dr. Joey is back in the house and I need my nurse practitioner. Obviously, we're reading the instruction manual right now. We are going to be doing an ultrasound on her belly. I'm not dealing with a Coco 2.0 where this girl's just getting fat and she's tricked us into thinking that she's pregnant. I do have this empty box that I'm going to be using as her little nesting home. Huge thank you to World of Warcraft for <laughs> providing us with this box. This is a PR box that they sent me for Wrath of the Lich King Classic that's coming out. So I'm so excited to take a look in here and see all the goodies. So thanks, WoW. Always got my back. Hi. You like your little bed in here? Oh, she's purring. This is so she's cute. She's so sweet. I think she's actually getting close. Oh, no. During the ultrasound, it's just like we see one going down I will into the canal. <laughs> She's having contractions just as we boot up the machine ready to do I have been waiting to use this for use it on you. Okay, that looks that looked like you wanted to use that for something else. She's going into labor right now. I, Are you mentally prepared? No. The sack? You made it seem like we had a couple days. I thought we did. Oh my god. One's coming. Hi, baby Hello. girl. Okay, so um I have this ready for her. This was not the plan right here. This is all happening so fast. Oh my god. It's white. Oh my god. It's a white kitty. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. She's in, she's, she's shocked. shocked as we are. She's like, is there something down there? I mean, not to kill a vibe, but I like high key want to throw up. Like, <laughs> it's so little. I'm actually really worried about this one. It's not moving that much. Sometimes it takes like the cord to be bitten for her to like come to life. Okay, there we go. Oh, she's moving. Isn't that so crazy? It's like once there's like activation in the court. Oh, she's eating the afterbirth. Get that snack. There, I'm gonna move her over to here. The cat's meowing now, but this is a much better position for her to be in. Go find the nipple. I'm like so used to the size of puppies that I'm like, oh my God, it's so small. I know. <laughs> I want to like keep trying to like hold her in the position of finding the nipple. Then like the other part of me is like, if I were not here and like she were to just give birth out in a while, it would just be what it is. Like they're gonna naturally figure it out. Yeah. It's like their instincts do kick in and they know what to do. I'm just kind of here to supervise. So we're just gonna let her do her thing. She seems like she knows what she's doing. Yeah. But that was so scary at first. Like the kitten was like not moving and it looked so skinny. I was like, is this a premature? Because I'm so used to puppies like yeah. being so fat and like, Big it looks like a little skeleton. <laughs> yeah. It was not cute at all. Come on, find a damn nipple, you whore. Look at all these options. You're literally first born out here. You have a pick of the litter. You can pick any nipple you want. It looks like she might have latched on. But also she's showing signs of contractions. If the second kitty can come out. Oh, she wasn't. She was not latched, I don't think. Oh, wait, maybe she was. It looks a little. <gasps> yeah, I think she was latched. Okay. Girl, down to the left. I know you can't see right now, and you probably can't hear me. <gasps> Contractions. Here comes baby number two. This bitch better come out here and teach her and the rest of the siblings how to latch on because I can't do it all. She's going to greet her sister. <laughs> come on out here. Leave a comment right now guessing how many kittens you think that she's going to have. Ew, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. It's the splash zone. Stop, you don't need to go greet her. I You'll like, meet her soon. Oh my god, I don't like that the hole is right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> You've got this. Good girl. There's a lot going on. I know. I'm trying to get this one to latch. That one's coming out. I'll pull you out. Oh my gosh, girl. <laughs> How are you feeling? Disgusted. There it is. Oh, it looks like a husky. <laughs> I think she gave birth to a husky cat. Oh my god, I'm like so... <laughs> what makes you disgusted over this? <laughs> the fluids, the form, the shape. I think it's beautiful. I love it, it's exciting. Honestly, just like a mystery box. Like whenever she pushes one out, it's like at the lottery. Like what color is it gonna be? I hate seeing it in the little bubble thing. It is like... <gasps> really? I hate it. <gasps> Look at the markings. It's a perfect triangle. This one is moving. Yeah, this one's got some energy. She's already looking for a nipple. Mucusy. That is one adjective I never need to hear again. 
<laughs> oh, girl, you are getting in the blood. She wanted some lipstick. <laughs> okay, now she's eating the afterbirth, which is kind of a part. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, look at her. Salt and pepper. She's getting her lipstick, her blush on. She just took a trip to Sephora. Okay, the third one is on the way. We have a blonde, a brunette, and now comes the redhead. I want an all black one too. I want an orange and all black, but I don't think Sakura will let that even happen. No, I already saw her outside when I went to go turn the air off. What did she say? She just ran away. She, she I think she can smell it. Definitely. Oh my god, it's so cute. So fluffy. Okay, let's get you back in there nice and warm. I think this one's already pooping. Girl, you haven't eaten anything and you're already pooping? Look at it, it's so little. Is that sick to you? You need to be studied. Oh, look at how put sweet it, it is. <laughs> that is sick. I can't believe you're poop phobic. That's so <laughs> mean. You're canceled. <laughs> Yes, speckled. It's a white one, a white and black one, I think. Probably just like her. Girl, you are so nosy. She's like the personal greeter. She like has to introduce herself to everybody. She's a journalist. She's reporting live. We're still trying to figure out where the food is at. Girl, you are getting in the way. She wants more lipstick on. Welcome to the world, number three. I don't know why, but it just doesn't like gross me out at all. You look so disturbed. This is terrifying. <gasps> Like, it's really bad. You guys, I literally was supposed to come to help put this box together. The ultrasound. And the ultrasound. And the second I hold that little stick, a freaking can slides out. And then I thought <laughs> I'm screwed. Now I'm stuck here. Literally. You're stuck here. Oh my God. But th she's doing it pretty quick. She's going fast. We're already on to number three. Well, Oscar actually read that it can take, oh, girl, she was just latched on. It can take up to two hours for them to start nursing. So I was freaking out over nothing. Hi. Could you please provide me my orange kitty cat? Thank you. You got that blush all over you. She wants to be a beauty guru. Hey guys, today we're using our blush palette. We're using the shade After Birth Blood. <laughs> it's not bloody at all. It's a little blotchy. You got another one coming? She's like, oh, something's coming. I don't think it's so Chipotle I had earlier either. Hello, number four. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's another all white one. <gasps> oh, hi. Twin beauty gurus. Sisters channel. Giving the Merrill twins a run for their money. Very alien-esque. The bone structure. Gorgeous. Look at this one. So long. Oh, there she is. Oh my gosh, she was so cute. Look at her little face. Her sister has already given her some of her blush. She's like, girl, welcome to the family, but you look a bit busted. Here, use my blush palette. There she is. She's applying some to her right now. I don't like that she looks bald. Give her a minute. Oh, she was just born into the world. <laughs> her sister hasn't been able to do her hair yet. She's actually really smart. She latched on pretty quick to a nipple, so she's the smarter of the twins. Now she's just... I think she still has three more to go, so we'll see. Give Baldy some love. She's looking at us. <laughs> Number five is on its way. Let's see, Lacey Lynn, what do you have in store for us? Oh, oh wow, she's really just not sitting this one out. Uh oh, all the girls are coming to welcome. <laughs> Sister! I don't know why, I've just literally all called them girls. Oh, this one I think might be actually black white spotted like a mother because these ones ended up being gray and white yeah welcome to the world oh mucosa you're disgusting <laughs> mm, delicious Ew, your phone probably has all the freaking juices on it it's a little sticky <laughs> <laughs> it looks so cute. It's like a little cow like her. Yeah. Okay, number six is on the way. She's in position. Baldy's still bottled. Oh, and the spotted one is so cute. I love it. Blondie over here is definitely getting way smarter. She's starting to run the house, <laughs> litter. A mama's good too. <laughs> I'm your favorite, right, mom? 
And the other day, another slut. She knows she's the prettiest. I know. Look at her. Look at her going to steal Baldi's nipple. Of course. <gasps> she is. She really is. Oh, oh, the claws are out. Oh she's, oh my God. Oh my God. She's so nasty. Look at her sexy leg. She's so dramatic. <laughs> All right, Lacey, this is the one. Black one. Of course, this one to come and greet her. Hey, girl. <laughs> Welcome to the family. <laughs> I just want to show you around whenever you're ready. And also, bitch, I'm the head bitch in charge. So if you try anything, I'll cut you. Oh, it looks like a husky again. Oh, wow. That is scientific. <laughs> Doesn't it look like a little puppy? Yeah, it does. Okay, checking in after number six. Still no oranges, so I'm using this orange towel to manifest, but I'm starting to feel like he was not the father and Miss Lacey actually had an affair. Do you agree? I think so too, because this is not, the math isn't math. <laughs> it's definitely not. Not sure how many more she has to go. This has been so uncomfortable, like just sitting on the floor, like, in the most contortionate positions. How are you feeling? I'm a little winded, not so much. <laughs> We've seen a lot of things. There was a moment where she moved her leg and Oscar and I were both looking and red liquid squirted out of her and it looked like a fountain. I can never turn from a drinking fountain again the same way. It was bad. <laughs> it was but so the worst bad. part, is you were trying to instigate, you were like, take a look, take a look. And then I finally, <laughs> no. I finally gave it. I was like, let me see. The second my eyes moved over, it shot straight out me. You all look so freaking cute. Look at the little spots and then the white and gray. If only there was an orange in the mix, but I understand you want to go with the monochromatic, black and white, gray. It is later on in the night. I waited and waited, and unfortunately, there was no more kitties, no orange kitten hiding in her uterus. So it's just the six kitties. And she was so good. You were such a good mommy. And they're all latching on, eating, being cute little kitties. So that is it for this video. I am going to be vlogging on my vlog channel pretty much every other day. So if you'd like to go and follow along the journey, see what gender they are, I have a video that's actually posted today. So you can go click the link down below, subscribe. There'll be videos on there for the next two months. And then hopefully, possibly, puppy vlogs coming this year as well. So that's it for today. Until next time, I'll see y'all next time. Good damn bye.